So, I really did not want to make this vlog. It, I have been very anxious about it, because anytime I think about this day, it stresses me out. Um, but, so the first clip of this vlog didn't come out very well, and it was me kind of explaining things, and I don't even know if I explained it very well, because you just can't really hear me at all. So I wanted to make this little intro clip. Um, so the last vlog that you guys hopefully saw um, was us visiting Linlithgow Palace and Dun Castle, and so that was like the day before the, this vlog. So this vlog we were going to go back to Linlithgow um, to see the other castle that we didn't get to, um, which is called Blackness Castle, and then we were going to um, take this trail that I had found um, that's supposed to link this to Hopeton House, which is where they filmed the Duke of Sandringham's house, and it's the biggest um, like estate in Scotland. When you think of Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice and his big estate, this is like what you think of. Um, and so the day before when we went to Linlithgow, we had t taken a train that was it was like a 30 minute train ride down there. Um, but today we did, or, but this day we decided to take a one hour bus ride, which would have been cheaper. And we were like, okay, well, it's we're not really in a rush today. Let's just take the um, bus and save a little bit of money. So we did that, and we left a little bit of time to, um, in case that the bus ran late, which it did run a few minutes late getting there just because of traffic and so if it was a normal work day scheduled time. Um, and then before we had to take this bus up to Blackness, because in order to get to Blackness Castle, which is where they filmed Fort William, the only way to get there by public transportation is by one specific bus that gets there um, every two hours. So... Um, we just, that was just the start of our day, and then we were going to go from Blackness, we were going to take this trail, um, to Hopeton House. And basically, just everything, everything did not go according to plan, and it's mostly my fault, and I dragged Molly with me, and she was the biggest sport in the world. I will love her forever for this. I would have been so cranky the whole time had it, the role been reversed but Molly I love you and this this vlog is gonna be interesting I don't think the vlog is gonna do justice on how miserable we were the second half of the day but Lord, there were just there were so many things that could have gone wrong there were a lot of times when like I think back at it and there were moments when I should have just suggested that we spend a little extra money and go back, like wait for the bus to get back from Blackness, take us to the look go, and then get a cab to New, ca to New Hope Castle House, whatever it's called, and pay the like extra money than the way we chose. In hindsight, I mean, we did only spend like three pounds maybe total, like together, for transportation that day. Actually more like four or five, I think. But, it, like that was great that it was super cheap, but it's one of those times when you should probably have chosen to maybe be more comfortable than frugal. So, yeah. Uh, I don't want to make this video. I haven't even edited it yet. I'm one clip in and I'm already stressing out. Uh, okay, let's go. Hey guys, so we're finally here. It's It's been a struggle of a morning. We got to Linlithgow and we the bus got there a few minutes late and we were kind of confused as to what station because the timetable was not making sense. So, dear old Molly. <laughs> I feel so bad. No. I'm like the worst. She ordered food at a deli. It didn't come in time because the, these buses up to Black and Castle will only run every two hours. So we, she didn't get her food. And now no one thinks that food is a good idea in the <laughs> goddamn middle of no. So angry. The grocery store isn't a grocery store anymore and that was like our only option. So we're, we're snacking. This is just, this is gonna be an interesting day. I've dragged her along. I'm the worst friend ever. Do it. 
in case you didn't know, she stole a rock. No, no, oh, okay. Chef, 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 chef. <laughs> what? She didn't steal anything. <laughs> That's not You didn't hear that from me. Oh, hey guys. Come on into my crib. I lost my other battery, so today just might not be some great pictures. We'll have to we'll see. We're gonna survive on this one and the half charged battery. I have with that and phone. So yeah, great, fantastic. Oh, and apparently, I don't. I doubt it was on the rocks unless they like built it over it. This is the area that they did like Jamie's with me. So he was like faced this way. So we have finished in the castle and now we are walking along the beach on this trail that if all works well will take us to Hopeton House which is like I guess the best known like estate in Scotland I, I don't really know but it's where the Duke of Sandringham's house Duke of Sandringham's house is filmed and yeah it's really pretty and really big It's like a glob of something. But it looks like the top of a jellyfish. It does. Right? It could be. I mean, it very well. It doesn't have any life. I didn't think jellyfish were around here, but then again, I don't know plant life. I'm not a marine biologist. So we're still walking. <laughs> Once it starts storming, I mean, I don't think it's supposed to storm today, but this would not be a good time to get lost. I, like the water rise. I mean, it wouldn't rise that quickly, but. What are we, Blake Lively in that new movie? The Shallows. <laughs> I don't think there's sharks in Scotland. I don't think they come for this weather. Uh, yeah. But we're still walking. Um, we're getting closer. Well, we finally made it. Way over there. Where that little piece of land is. That's the castle we were just at. We walked all the way around here and then. Got what right there because there's no walkway from side to side. Fantastic. So hopefully this nice little path will take us up. Hopefully to food because oh we need food. 50 hours later. Good lord. But we are finally here and it is rainy. Beautiful. They say go. They say go through the main one, right? There's a wedding going on, so. That's what all of this is. But I'm gonna be here for like an hour and a half because we need a ride back. Look at him go, the cutest little mini Scotsman there is. I'm in love with him. I'm 300 years old, owned by the same family throughout. So at the present time it's occupied by the Earl and Countess of their four children. So he's the 11th Earl of Hopeton. So once you've had a look around all those rooms there, you come back to the front hall and then through to the state rooms and then from there you can get up to the roof. Today's date, the phases of the moon were very necessary. The street lighting wasn't universal until well after the Second War. So if you're uh, planning a journey into or out of Edinburgh, for example, it's very useful to know that there would be a modicum of, of uh, light. But one arm of each figure is hinged. And this uh, clock, when it's good, it's very good and makes music. 
and the lady in the centre very lethargically conducts her trio. <laughs> This is the red room. As you probably tell, it's a lot of red. This is the room that I believe in season one was the main room that like Jamie like came in and tried to proposition Sandringham and Claire was there before propositioning Sandringham and they just they used this room a lot as like his main room of study. And I guess they used some of the bedrooms to film like Parisian bedrooms in season two. And it mentioned on the thing that I guess Mid Hope Castle is on is on this estate because I knew it was close. We just we just don't have time to get to it, and it sucks, but that's okay. But that Mid Hope House is where they filmed Lally Brock, and they just filmed the exteriors because you can't actually go in the place. But yeah, this is really exciting talking. I'm doing a great job of vlogging today. the group photo. Cute little flower girl, oh my god! You're so cute! Oh my god, I'm dying! I think I got it! I think I got him! Really? I think I got him! They've put all the chairs like a church, mm -hmm. and they have the ceremony in there, and then they get piped across to the ballroom. Wow. It's probably somewhere between 30 and 50,000. Okay, so completely different day, completely different lighting. Sorry, that's just what you're gonna get today. But I still wore the same scarf, so sort of continuity. I realize now, after fully editing this video, that the vlog doesn't actually look that bad. Um, but I'm here to explain what really happened. Um, if you saw any of like the title, like, or if you saw any of the like captions that I added over it, um, that there was just a lot of walking this day. Um, so basically, we reached Blackness Castle on no food, and there was no food really in the town. There had been a grocery store, but it was closed. We don't know for how long. But the lady that worked, that was like working like the ticket booth or whatever, there was a tiny little gift shop there, and she was like, yeah, there's no food here. There's like a fruit candy bar right there that's kind of good for you. So we're like, okay, well, let's just eat this and like hold off. And I had a couple um, items of food in my bag, like some um, goldfish or um, whales or like a fruit snack thing. So that's what I had in my bag, but Molly really didn't have a lot. Um, so after Blackness Castle, we decided to walk to Hopeton House, as you saw, um, and we thought it would may it'd be like an hour's walk. Um, as you could tell, it ended up being just along the beach. That was about two hours, and then we still had another 45 minutes to go. By the time we got there, it was about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So we had walked for three hours, almost. We basically went till 3 o'clock in the afternoon until we actually had substantial food. And in the last 15-20 minutes of the walk, it started pouring, and I was doing okay. But Molly was miserable, and I felt absolutely horrible about the whole thing because it was just like we saw the back of the house, but it took another 20 to 30 minutes just to get to the entrance because you pass by the back when you take this trail, and then you have to walk basically, you basically almost walk around the entire, you walk around three sides of the, of the estate before you get to the entrance. So at the edge of the beach where we went, like, against that wall where I was logging, that was part of the estate. But to get to that was like the very back of the estate. To get to it, you have to go all the way around. We could have probably cut off like 15, 20 minutes if we just hopped this little fence, but we weren't really sure that's where it led us to. And I really didn't want to like jump over private property and get in trouble. So yeah, it was, it was a rough mess. We were tired, we were hungry, it started pouring, and in the end we were only there for like an hour. 
But thankfully we got a nice little ride as you saw from this lady that worked there and she drove us back to Linlithgow and it was actually a pretty short drive so it was like we probably could have paid for a taxi. It kind of sucked because we had to pay both for entrance to the house and the gardens. You can pay for just the gardens but you can't pay for just the house. Um, I know I'm probably still not explaining this very well and that it doesn't seem as big of a deal as it was but we were literally in the middle of nowhere along a beach where there were no pe we saw maybe we saw one couple walking along the beach a, the other way and then we saw one um couple later um once we actually got back onto the path um but it was three hours of pure straight walking with almost no people interaction in the middle of nowhere we didn't even end up taking the path we decided to go by the beach was this faster we don't know. We'll never know. Um, so basically, lesson learned. Um, if you guys ever decide to go to Hopeton House, don't go the way we go unless you have a bike with you. That would have saved us so much time. If you really want to go to Scotland, I honestly suggest not relying completely on public transportation because there's a lot of cool places that I wanted to get to that were maybe a 15 minutes drive away, but the only way to get there by public transportation would have taken like two, hour two or three hours just to get there. Sorry for this most of this vlog being rants at the beginning and end. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what are your guys' worst travel experiences because this is probably one of them for me, if not the worst. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. As always, happy exploring.